So in the first step in this series, we created a contact. Uh, and the easy way to do that is to go back out to contacts. And what we can see is, is that we have our Deb Sunrise contact. And at this point, what we wanted to do was to log a call. So what we're going to do is to go here in the activity. And you can see even if we're in details, this is still here. So what we want to do is to go to activity, log a call. And that creates this panel. And we want to say, all right, for the, the subject of the call, we're just going to say we called her. Um, this is for, for Deb. And uh, we know it's from an account perspective. It's United Oil and Gas. So let's just, for now, let's just say save that. Um, and what that'll do is to create an activity that says we logged a call. Now. If I want to do another one, let's just say I want to show you a bit more. Um, call is a very ambiguous subject. Is that a, a verb or a noun? Are we calling? Do, do we make a phone call? Did we actually talk to her? What, what happened? So we, we have the opportunity to make this a very rich field. And what I've done is to, to paste out here a string of, of numbers just to give you in kind of in 10 character sequence, just to give you a sense of how much we can put out there. We also have the opportunity to put out here comments. And this is kind of full subjects. Let's say kind of more about what we specifically spoke about. And so I'm going to throw three blocks of that out there. We do want to relate this to Deb, but we can relate this uh, rather than United Oil and Gas. We also have the opportunity to relate this to uh, other objects. Um, for us, opportunities is key. So let's connect it to an opportunity. And we want to search opportunities, uh, but it actually gives us something to look at. So we, we can enter United Oil. Uh, so let me just do that just so you see. So if I look up United, there's a bunch of things out there. Uh, best practice when we create opportunities, we'll talk about this as well, so that you can differentiate between these. You know, we've got actually two installations. By putting a year in there or some other differentiation, you can pick and choose from a pick list like this in a much easier way. Uh, so what I'm doing is creating, a, and you can think this is a, a specific call. We had a good conversation. We met with other people, and this may be other information you want to save. Uh, we're going to go on ahead and save that. What that's going to do is to create a, a, a richer timeline here. So what we're seeing is, is that you basically pick up uh, at least, um, we'll call it 25 characters here, that you could have, uh, have written something specific. So rather than looking at just the fact that there was a call, uh, you can actually describe what happened in that call. And I'll show you some additional tricks as we go forward. Uh, but that's at least the starting point. Um, thanks, and well, let me let me show you. Let's see, one one more trick, right? Is if we actually go out here, we can go to this is now the opportunity, and because we attached it as a link, uh, what we're able to do is to see that in fact that opportunity is linked, and we have Deb Sunrise also linked um, to this opportunity. So this is something else we'll talk about is just the idea that anytime you include these related links in a history file, uh, it, it's, it's that much stronger in terms of information you can share. Thanks for watching. And the next video we'll do, we'll actually talk about how to create a, uh, a new task.